Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of multi window Instagram shop feeds for the WooCommerce platform. And in today's video tutorial, I'll be showing you how the customers of the web store would be able to view the Instagram shop feeds uh, for the products uh, uh, that have already been purchased by the customers and the customers who have basically tagged the products on the Instagram itself using the hash code uh, that is there. Uh, that the admin has created from the admin backend panel and that way the uh, admin of the web store would be able to uh, display the uh, product images or the real images of the product on the product page and different uh, places as well and similarly the uh, multi vendor marketplace sellers would also be able to set up uh, the uh, instagram shop feeds so uh, let's go ahead and let's see how this particular plugin works and uh, first i'll show you the customer flow then the seller and lastly the admin and before that, uh, let me give a small gist about this uh, multi-window Instagram shop feeds for the WooCommerce platform by Webpool. So basically, uh, uh, the uh, WooCommerce Marketplace Instagram shop feed plugin uh, allows the marketplace admin and the vendors to uh, do marketing using the Instagram post of the users who have uh, basically uh, purchased the uh, respective product. Apart from that, the, the store admin and the vendors can enable the Instagram feeds on uh, their shop as required. And uh, apart from that, the uh, sellers and the admin would be able to display the Instagram feeds on the shop category and product pages as required. So uh, basically, the customers can uh, uh, with the uh, images of the products uh, at the storefront that have been uploaded by the product users which is a realistic and actual image of the product uh, in there and uh, now let's go to the customer flow first and then the rest of the flow would be uh, checked so uh, basically this is how the uh, instagram feed uh, for the product images would be uh, available for the customers to see at the storefront so the customers can access the dedicated page by tapping on the instagram feeds at the very top as you can see so tapping that up brings this uh, dedicated page where the customers can see all of the instagram feeds all together with the different hashtags that the admin has set up like the clothing albums hoodie and tapping any of these uh, uh, feeds would uh, basically display the product that is there and from there as well the customers can add that particular product into the cart and can make a checkout thereafter so this is how uh, the uh, after tapping you can see we have the product uh, name the cost and the add to cart button from that particular hashtag that we were uh, we just tapped on and uh, apart from that uh, on the product page as well the uh, customers would be able to see all of the uh, uh, instagram images so for example for happy ninja 2 right now you can see that we have the uh, different uh, product images as well and tapping on any of these uh, hashtag images would bring up the pop-up to purchase the product and on the uh, shop page uh, this uh, particular thing is visible that are the instagram feeds for the product so here all together the collective uh, ones are basically being displayed to the customers so actually i had some issues with my internet so right now as i'm on the shop page here you can see that there are the instagram feeds uh, there but the images are not uh, visible right now uh, due to some issue there and here on the shop page if i scroll down here i can see the uh, instagram feeds so if i tap here it will bring up uh, the product details but not the images uh, for that hashtag that's the clothing from the instagram so it's uh, due to my uh, my internet connectivity issue that's why i just showed you the user guide for that also, I've added the link of the user guide within this uh, description below. You can check that for the complete flow as well. Now, uh, and here is the Instagram GAM feeds that we have uh, provided and this uh, shows the dedicated page. So you can view the dedicated Instagram feeds as well. You can go to the feeds by tapping on the shop button and on the product pages as well. So now uh, let's go ahead and let's see how the uh, sellers of the marketplace would be able to set up their Instagram feeds for their products. So for that, I'll just uh, go to my account. And uh, here I'll be entering my username and password for the seller account. And thereafter, I'll just tap on the login button. And uh, on my dashboard here on the left hand side, you can see that we have the Instagram hashtag. I just need to tap that up 
and that would bring up the section where the uh, seller would be able to see all of the tags uh, or the hashtags that the seller has created for his product he can search the uh, search the uh, tags as well for example if i type in clo and if i tap on the search button it displays the respective uh, hashtag that i'm trying to uh, search so now uh, once again let me go back uh, to the instagram hashtag uh, section here so the uh, seller can enable or disable any of the uh, tags and uh, to add a new hashtag he just needs to tap here on the add hashtag button on the top right hand corner and this brings up the instagram hashtag and for here uh, the uh, seller needs to enter the hashtag uh, he needs to choose the product for which he wants to add this particular hashtag so you can add those products like this then you can set the hashtags hashtag visibility on the shop page dedicated page and the product page so from these three you can choose uh, to display at all the three places or uh, at two or at a single place only so that depends upon you and then you'll set the hashtag pro uh, priority and lastly you need to enable this particular hashtag so we'll set it as one so hash ship if I tap on the add button the tag would be created as you can see and now let me go back to the Instagram hashtag and the hashtag for the ship would be uh, created as you can see right now and the visibility is on the product page and the priority is one enabled I can just uh, delete and edit this one as well so tapping on the uh, pen icon would bring up the editing option for this now uh, this uh, after you've uh, added a new hashtag thereafter you need to come back as I've shown you then you need to tap on the edit button and uh, if you scroll down that after that you'll be able to see that you'll be able to fetch the images from the Instagram itself so for that uh, we have uh, given this section here wherein uh, you just need to tap around the fetch images and tapping that brings up this Instagram images section wherein all of the uh, respective images for this particular hashtag would be displayed and the seller just needs to tap on the input button thereafter to add those to the Instagram feeds so let me show you that so here you can see that we have the fetch images and if I uh, tap on the fetch images this pop-up comes as I've shown you then uh, you can basically uh, choose uh, the images and tap on the input button thereafter and uh, likewise they'll be then displayed uh, under your uh, respective hashtag that you have created and you can see under the fetch images now we have the different images that the admin has fetched from the Instagram itself so uh, that was the seller end and uh, now uh, let's see the admin and how he can create the Instagram hashtags for his own product so for that I'll just take you to the admin backend panel so here I'm at the uh, WooCommerce uh, backend panel I'll tap in uh, the login button after entering my username and password for the admin account and thereafter I'll be logged in so after you successfully install this particular plugin as an admin you just need to see on the left hand side you'll have this marketplace Instagram feed option wherein you'll be having all tags and the configuration so let me open them up so under the configuration that's the initial configuration that is required for the marketplace Instagram feeds so let's go to the configuration section first so uh, under the configuration section here you just need to uh, choose the Instagram feed view whether you want to have it as a carousal view or a list view so whenever the customer taps on the uh, particular hashtag image there uh, the product is displayed and when the product is displayed the customer can make use of that carousal view to see the respective pictures for that particular product let me show you that so here you can see that uh, we have a right arrow and a left arrow so we can carouse to the images for this particular product after that you just need to tap here on the save settings button and now let's go to the tag section so here the admin can see all of the tags that the marketplace sellers have created and can uh, do bulk actions like activate deactivate or delete any of them and to add the instagram tag for his own products he can tap here on the add new button that brings up the Instagram tag section so here he just needs to enter the hashtag the products for which you want to assign this particular hashtag the visibility whether on the shop page dedicated or the product page only you want to display the Instagram uh, tags the hashtag uh, priority and the status for that as well thereafter you just need to tap on the save button to save that particular tag uh, that the web store admin has created thereafter you just need to go back to all tags 
to fetch the images for this particular hashtag that you just created now we are back to this section here it is our tag that we have created I'll tap on the edit button and now I'll just scroll down and from here I'll tap the fetch images button this would fetch the Instagram images for the hashtag that we have uh, created and thereafter we just need to tap here on the import button and then those images would be displayed under the fetch images here and then uh, whenever the customer access the shop page product page or the dedicated page there the customers would be able to see these particular images for these products that you have made use of so uh, that was much about the multi vendor marketplace instagram shop feeds for the woocommerce platform and i hope it helped you out in understanding how this particular plugin works and uh, if you still have any questions or queries regarding this particular plugin then you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webpool.com or you may raise the ticket at webpool.uvs.com thanks for watching this video and have a great day ahead